Hi everybody, welcome to the fourth and final video on how to install Omeka Classic. Uh, in this video we're going to learn how to uh, set directory permissions and um, how to go about finishing the installation. So the first thing we want to do is go to the Omeka.org website. I'm going to go to Omeka Classic and the user manual. And under installing I'm going to click on the installation link. In the previous videos, we went through all of the steps uh, up to step 5. So uh, now we need to make Omeka storage directory and its subdirectories writable by the web server. So to do this, we have some instructions here uh, at this link, and I'm going to click on that. And so I'm going to use the group access instructions. Um, as you can see here, uh, it says that uh, giving permissions to the proper user groups um, is the way to uh, set things up and, and keep them secure. So I'm going to use these instructions um, to do this. Uh, so the first thing I'm going to do is pull this off to the side and um, and the first thing I want to do is make sure that I have um, I have the user group that is suggested by the instructions so I'm just gonna run a, a cat etc dash group command and this lists all of the groups that are available to me and I am looking for uh, ww dash data. So I do have I do have that user group that um, allows uh, the web server um, the right sort of permission. So I'm going to go ahead and clear my screen. And the next thing I'm going to do is go to the directory. Um, so we will go to var ww dash HTML and we will just list our files and so what the instructions are telling us is we need to change the permissions on this directory right here so that is what we will do and the instructions are suggesting that we change the group for files and actually let's just ls-l so right now uh, files we need this to be readable, writable, and executable by um, our web server. Um, so what we're going to do is change this libadmin group right here. So to do that, we will do um, chgrp-r. Uh, the group name is www dash data and our directory is called files whoops I forgot that we need to do sudo change group recursively ww w dash data and files So now when we run ls-l, we should see the user group here as www-data. And so next we want to uh, change the permissions. We want to be able to read, write, and execute for the group. So right now we just have execute and read. Um, so we're going to change that using the change mod dash R and we will give it 775 permissions on files and now ls-l and so now we have uh, the ability to read write and execute uh, from the, the uh, web server group okay so now let's look at our instructions again and so I believe we have uh, completed step five. In order to test this, we'll need to go to the server. Um, 
or to the web page. So essentially we're here on step six, uh, visit the URL. And you'll notice that they kind of throw in a, a project directory there. If you followed my instructions, um, it there is no extra folder. Uh, there is no extra directory. So in my case, all I need to do is type in the type in the URL or the uh, IP address, sorry, 320.30. OK, so we have an installation error. DOM extension is not available. Um, OK, so what we'll do is we will uh, put in the PHP extension. And we can do that. I'll minimize this screen. So we can do that by running this command here, um, uh, sudo apt get install um, php 7.0, I'm using php 7.0 um, dash xml, and yes. And I'm just going to run sudo service apache to restart. OK, so we can go back. Um, and actually, for this, I may just use Firefox. And the reason for that is um, I find that Chrome tends to cache things in a weird way that makes it so that um, when I fix things like this, it doesn't actually work. So we have 10-3-20.30. OK, so here we are. We're, uh, we're just about done with our installation. Um, so what we're looking at here is um, a username for the GUI for what we're about to set up. This is not the back-end administrator. This is um, this is to administ uh, to be an administrator for the site. I'm still going to use the same username just to make my life easier. Uh, lib admin and put in a password. Um, And then email and all of this is um, editable in uh, later on so what you put in here isn't necessarily set in stone I'm just going to keep the rest of the defaults here and I am going to install and success so click on my public site and there I am I I have my instance of, of Omeka up and running um, if you want to go into the admin console you would just do that and so we used libadmin for our username and we are in the administrator module. So that is a, a very quick installation of uh, Omeka onto your own server. I hope you found this series useful. Um, and I thank you for watching.